Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Explained channel. I am going to explain in this session the Internet of Energy that is called as a IOE. All we know that Internet through which we can connect globally. And for the energy sector, if you use that Internet, then we can call it as a Internet of Energy. In this Internet of Energy, the whatever the energy production is there, either from the commercial, conventional power plants or in non-conventional power plants. Conventional power plants such as thermal power stations, nuclear power stations, idle power plants and non-conventional power stations like that. Solar power plants, wind power plants, okay, then uh, uh, geothermal power plants like that all the things whatever are there these are controlled and connected through the internet then later whatever the power production is there that is supplied to a grid and then uh, it is distributed and transmitted and distributed to the consumers and consumers will consume as per their requirement and here the whatever the manufacturer is, is there that is connected through internet and all the information we will have what quantity of the production we are going to get and what is the efficiency presently it is having and what are the difficulties associated with that one and next we will take the during the transmission any loss is there the wastage is there that also we can come to know through a internet at one site only all together if it is connected okay then uh, consumers also if you connect that one how much quantity the consumers are consuming and at what time the peak period is there at what time the less consumption is there all these things will come to know that it's centrally through a internet so that we can reduce the inefficiencies during all the production transmission and the consumption thereby increasing the energy consumption at present there is a scarcity of the energy the sufficiently we are not supplying the energy required for all the consumers and for that the one thing is that the production we should increase or we should control whatever the present production is there okay through the internet and we can increase its efficiency to have the better transmission and better required consumption and this internet of energy is a technological term applied to that all the manufacturers and producers now to have them that clarity about this one and this term whatever is there that comes through a internet of things everything is to be connected through a internet one of the best example here you can see that the, there are number of machines are there and these machines are connected through a internet internet is connected to a through a internet and one person is standing in front of that one and some one person is sitting okay and observing what are the parameters and how the machines are operating here instead of uh, that is each person to monitor each machine the one person at one side only will come to know that what are the parameters how it is uh, uh, operating and what is its efficiency all these things you will come to know that the production rate also and you can change and you can control that one all the machines and the efficient working will be there similar to that internet of things the internet of energy we are going to use here the explanation of this internet of energy will take here the internet of energy is a technological term that refers to the upgrading and automating of electricity infrastructures for energy producers and manufacturers. This is the Internet of Energy definition. This allows energy production to move forward more efficiently and cleanly with the least amount of waste. The one thing is that the waste should be less. Because here, the one thing is that if you supply the electricity without the wastage, there is not any uh, shortage of the electricity. 
but most of the energy we are losing during the transmission because of the more energy transmission or more, less capacity of the, the transmission system all these things may be there that's why okay that efficiency we should increase with the less least amount of wastage the technology surrounding the internet of energy can be fairly complex and difficult concept to understand so it's important to understand the basics the whatever the internet of energy is there that whatever the technology is there it's more complex that one how these that is manufacturing unit is connected through internet how that is transmission is connected to internet okay there all the parameters are to be observed that is voltage ampere rate okay the temperature wind and loss resistance all the parameters during the transmissions like that the parameter concern to the manufacturing parameter concern to the consumption all these things are observed and varied as per the minimum loss and fair transmission and that's why is that, that technology is complex only basics we here will discuss and basics we can understand internet of energy is the use of internet of things technology with a variety of different energy systems this is internet of things only for anything is to be controlled or monitored through internet that is called as the internet of things and for energy sector if you apply that is the internet of energy the internet of things refers to idea connecting the devices to the internet that all the devices connected to the internet that is the internet of things this includes anything from smartphones tablet tablets and television sets major appliances headphones and automobiles this is concerned to the internet of things if these are connected through internet then that is called as the internet of things by using the internet of energy technology manufacturers and producers can reduce inefficiencies in the existing energy infrastructure by increasing generation transmission and use of electricity that i told you that one if you use the internet of energy the inefficiencies what are there in the conventional system that can be reduced so that its efficiency of the production transmission and the consumption also increases making the updates to electric infrastructures allows an ease in flow of the energy which can maximize its potential therefore cutting down on any wastage of energy okay if you use the uh, update this uh, electricity infrastructure okay then ease of flow of energy the flow of energy or transmission uh, will become say easier and can maximize that its potential whatever is there how much we can transmit the potential in that one and reduces the whatever wastage in the energy is there without any critical updates okay here without any updates if you carry out that one okay in the energy infrastructure a lot of energy is lost along the line because they can't transmit it efficiently if we not uh, use any updates in the energy transmission system okay a lot of energy is lost during the transmission due to the that resistance offered to the electricity transmission usually whenever there is a, any electricity if you want to supply through a line okay through a wires those will offer the resistance the lowest resistance material is the that gold next lowest is the silver next will be copper next it will be that aluminum here we cannot use gold silver and copper the, because of the cost aluminum we can use but its strength is less aluminum alloy we are using the nowadays for the transmission of the electricity even though that is having that is offers some resistance for to the electricity transfer there is a resistance and due to that resistance some energy is lost okay then that can be overcome this one by updating the system but simply lines don't have the capacity to carry all the energy being sent okay the capacity which can send through that line that also we should know that one okay that can be known by using the that internet of things the how much quantity we are transmitting electrical units we are transmitting that will if you come to know that one then we can have that is how much energy we can 
transport through it then inefficiencies can be reduced and efficiently it can be transported uses of io it can be found in variety of different applications there are different applications where the internet of energy we can use here we will take the example an example of io technology includes utilizing smart sensors which are common among other iot technology applications also here are the smart sensors we are going to use okay those will sense that one what are the parameters are there those that will indicate and communicate to the that uh, controller where the controlling is taking place this allows the ioe facilitated mechanics such as power monitoring distributed storage and renewable energy integration that i initially i told you that one energy may be manufactured from the conventional power plant or we can from the renewable energy power station those should be integrated and integrated properly and uh, transmitted to the that uh, supply requirement then we can have the better uh, transmission and better efficiency with less of wastage this is the one of the system we can see okay that is a cloud based system okay there is a system in which the internet is there okay where all the through the internet all the systems are to be connected to that one integration of renewables renewable energy and this is the thermal power plant which is connected through this uh, through the sensor to that cloud based system and uh, here we can see that is the energy demand how much is there and it will be reduces the wastage that will be reduces the waste and the energy consumption to the that whatever the vehicles also nowadays electrical vehicle also we are going to use energy consumption consumption to the domestic applications there also if you uh, properly if you supply then there is a money savings that is a, the saving we can have from it okay then even though the scarcity of energy is there that also we can overcome then another way also we can see here the internet of energy connection that internet of energy the manufacturing through the yes, non conventional or renewable systems and thermal power stations and later it will be connected to a computer where it can be monitored and controlled the all the energy transactions and that is supplied to a domestic application okay then automobiles also where the requirement is there even though through to the industries also what are the supply of the energy is there all the things are connected here what will come to know that one the internet of energy means here all the things from the production transmission and the consumption all together brought at the centrally and monitored so that the energy whatever is their uh, production as well as the utilization and transmission all should be have the efficient efficiencies and thereby we can have the better energy okay the better energy management that is the internet of, internet of energy what we are going to use with this nowadays what we can we should know that one the energy is, uh, demand is going increasing in our country because of the increasing population as well as the increasing industry industrialization and that is the reason that's why the energy production we should increase or whatever the energy production presently it is there that should be efficiently used and for this this reason if you use the internet of energy then somewhat we can uh, fulfill the whatever the needs of energy is there in our country that one that will helpful for the, the whatever society is there thank you for watching if you like share comment and subscribe my channel thank you once again